tonight on We Are Something Else. You mad? With special guest Justin Blaze. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to We Are Something Else. We Are Something Else. Tonight, you mad? <laughs> but uh, first of all, let's, let's, let's welcome everybody. CB, what's up, brother? Ah, uh, Kaleo, I'm doing well, man. How you doing? I'm jelly, man. Fresh off the flight. Fresh off you, the I flight. I mean, you, you look like you Yo, fresh off the flight. I was, I was in the middle of a nap, really, before I came over here. <laughs> <laughs> it was... Not not the most restful weekend. It okay. was it was a lot of fun, but not a lot of rest. We'll get into that. Okay. Yeah, uh, Superfly, what's yo, up, brother? Yo, yo, what up? What up? What up? Peace. Uh, and our special guest, Justin Blaze. Uh, call him Just, whatever. But he's here tonight to help with tonight's topic. Say what's up. Yo, 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 yo. What's happening? All right. So uh, back to you, CB. Mm-hmm. Uh, where was you at this weekend? I was in Tampa. Went down to Tampa. Uh, one of the, uh, hobbies that I have is craft beer and there's a beer festival down there in, um, Tampa that I've gone to the last three years. And it's, uh, the dopest beer festival that, that I think we have on the East coast. So, um, that sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, uh, it it was, it was a good time. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You missed, um, volunteering for... (laughs) Our company event. Um. And uh, what's funny about that is I asked um, the head of the, the events team, I was like, when is that going down? Because I'm pretty sure the last two years, that's been the same weekend as that beer festival <laughs> that I've had. And third year in a row, same weekend. So I was you like, man, I feel your options, bad. Man. You got to weigh your mean, options. You got to do what's important to you. Yeah. I just don't want people to think that Chris isn't for the kids or anything, you know? No, we, we know we know <laughs> CB loves the kids. Yeah. Um, so let's we got some got some big news to promote this week, don't we? Yeah, huge yeah. news. I mean, it's big for us at least. Right, it is. We are <laughs> <laughs> we are now on iTunes. Yep. Yeah, I checked it. I checked it this uh, this afternoon as soon as I got off the flight to make sure. We um, that is huge. Y'all subscribe. It's a, you, y'all legit. It's a, <laughs> yeah, we are trying to get there. Yeah. We, we yeah. little by little, and hopefully. All three or four of our fans are <laughs> following us on all of our platforms. But by the way, that's we are something else. W e r s u m t h i n e l s e. We are something else. Yep. On all, um, all platforms. So not too many. Not, not a real headline that stands out to me this week. Just a couple of things I want to just open up with. First of all, um, so American Idol returns tonight, <laughs> and then there, Fox. I guess is a little. I guess this is part of you mad. Okay. <laughs> Fox is showing a, a show that OJ taped about almost what 13 it was years ago about him if he would have killed oh, this yeah, is how he, yeah, if he would have yeah, yeah. if he if would have killed would have done it. if he would have done it done this is how would so they're wild, airing man. that lost interview tonight <laughs> is that like the third time they're doing that though but apparently they they never aired this the book was scrapped it made it all the way to the stores and they never put it out because I, why would you want to do that to the families anyway first of all I mean that was the dumbest thing I'd ever heard at the time but now I guess Fox feels like they have to compete with American, American Idol, Idol tonight and so they're going to air the lost OJ tape I'm really tired of hearing about OJ I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> like, really this oh. guy is he's never out of the news for no. no matter what like for the rest of our lives when we were teenagers when he was <laughs> I mean, he's been in the movies and all that stuff, but for but, for the negative stuff, the murder and all that, so it's that's been our entire adulthood and teenage years, man. So that yeah. wasn't that wasn't even in my notes tonight. But let's 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 do <laughs> yeah. that. Do you remember where you were when the verdict came out? When yeah. the verdict came out, yeah, I think I was home from school. I, mean, I, I did. I did celebrate. School. I ain't gonna lie. That was <laughs> I was like, you know, I was waiting on my OJ prize. 
But um, I, was a I have younger, a whole. So I didn't even really know what was going on. Really, like I, had, I just I knew he was. I didn't like I didn't understand that he was like a football player, and he was because yeah. I was. I don't remember and how movies well, and all that. Yeah, stuff too, I, Naked you know. Gun. I didn't know him as a football player, but I knew him from Naked Gun. Mm-hmm. Right, that's um, what I knew from Naked Gun, and then I can't remember how old I was. Was that ninety three? The verdict? Ninety four. Ninety four. I remember I was home yeah, from was school as well, seven, probably yeah. sick, and I remember. Uh, my grandmother and my grandfather watched that. That was like, was that the first real big court TV head game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. watched faithfully every week, every on. day, it was every like the channel. Yeah. Every, yeah. I, that, well, that's what I do remember is that it was on every channel. It was huge, yeah. and yeah. I remember the the house was just quiet for all of probably five minutes during that whole, you know, we're bringing the jury in and we're gonna mm-hmm. get ready to say the verdict and. You could hear just an ant fart outside if you really wanted to, because it's so quiet. Oh, and then man. they said not guilty. And my I never heard my grandmother scream that loud in her life. Yeah, it and was, my grandfather was like, "Wow!" If you get a chance, man, watch the documentary, the the OJ doc, the ESPN the, one, the ESPN one, the five. Oh my, yes. that was a great. Exactly, but because it, it brings OJ in pop culture at the time, mm-hmm. like the racism that it was that. That dude alone has, I mean, outside of everything else, he's been through probably every major point of <laughs> recent history. Yeah, really? I mean, just from you know the racial divide in college and just to, it's a great documentary. ESPN sent yeah. us a check because we're promoting the OJ <laughs> we need, yeah, six the, part series. Yeah, that right. was dope, man. It's just the there's certain parts on there that make that I'm like, yeah, he did it. Like no, I'm not yeah. even like, no doubt. Yeah. So, I as, used to, as a kid, I was like, there's no way he could do that. You know what I mean? As right, a teenager, right. but watching that documentary, you know, like... I mean, Dave yeah. Chappelle no said man. when he met him that last time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and him and Chris Tucker. Well, him and Chris Kentucky Tucker Derby, couldn't right? even take a picture with him, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... Ah. It's like, I cruise yeah. the two fries with a... Take a picture with you right now, Juice. <laughs> Um, there he was so <laughs> the juice, <laughs> but all in that, just to say, this is Fox's way up to counter American Idol. Bring it back to that American yeah, Idol being on tonight, which I don't think it's gonna do great anyway, because yeah. there was no time time for it to miss. Right, American Idol's only been gone off air for almost a year and a half, two right. years. I and there's already been a whole mini series about OJ and the documentary. Plenty like, of, yeah, lots, the FX lots documentary. of content on this dude. Like we yeah. don't actually need to talk to him. No, like, the, the worst part <laughs> at, all. He, <laughs> at all. And I think he preferred to be that way too. So. I don't know. Nah, he wants to like he wants know. to be in the limelight, man. Right. Well, so anybody that called themselves Juice, Juice, you know what I'm saying? So that's you know, another part of the documentary, mean, like how much he needed to be in the spotlight. Yeah, so when yeah. white America turned their back on him, oh, okay, he shows yeah, up yeah, at yeah, yeah. Exactly. Kente Cloth in, in the black churches. He called himself Juice at the height of the Jerry Curl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so you glow. <laughs> you know? But he, yeah. <laughs> if this man is not, I mean, so they're still using his name. He's probably not getting a check for anything. Probably not. Yeah. And it's just like, wow, just... They might, well, he might have bills, man. You know, yeah, people got bills. So anyways, still stealing his own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, segwaying into another uh, musical show mm. that looks for uh, unfound talent, The Voice. I just want to bring this up real quick just because of local uh, talent, the guy I went to high school with, Terrence Cunningham, was on last week. He did a, yeah, a version of My Girl. Out. Like I could on, but the, just the and piano, mm-hmm. all four turned for this brother. That's dope. Like this dude was talented in high school. I mean, his story is really good. Like we, we probably crossed paths once or twice in high school. But mm-hmm. the fact is, um, he had a kid when he was sixteen. Um, well, first of all, Kelly Clarkson asked him, "Why, why don't, why don't, why aren't you on the radio yet? How right. come I haven't heard of you?" Yeah, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Cause I had a kid when I was young, and I put all that aside to make sure she got through high school before I pursue my career." That's dope. So it's a great story. So hey. let's vote wow. for this brother. Let's yeah. get him because yeah, he can absolutely. actually win this competition. So shout out to Terrence. Um, That's dope. I don't have his uh, his social media written down right now, but I'll put it in the story for the IG so y'all yeah. can just reach out and yeah, wish yeah, that brother yeah. good luck. Um, and I told I told you that I have a friend that was on The Voice a number of years ago too. Uh, really? This girl, Erin Willett, um, went to high school with. Mm-hmm. You know, she's. She, I don't. Re- I think she was on a. Uh, one of the one of the white homies teams i don't remember but it, it, it was pretty dope getting right. to see uh you know another another person from montgomery county up there doing like some music stuff mm-hmm. logic just dropping now i don't know if y'all 
Oh yeah, I haven't, lost it. I haven't listened to it. I haven't yet, listened to it yet either. Is it lost tapes or is it? Dude, but dope. I mean, we're talking about shout out Gaithersburg High School. <laughs> That's where I went to high school. So. In the house. It's, it's cool to see. It's cool to see uh, kids, you know, from around here doing their thing. Yeah, right. man, definitely. Um, so segueing into music. So um, two albums that I've, I'm feeling so far thus far into 2018. I'm gonna get a lot of uh, feedback off this one, but <laughs> Justin Timberlake's "Man of the Woods" is actually a pretty good album. Really, uh, maybe on the production, maybe because of the production side, you got Neptune's and Timberland mm-hmm. back at it, competing for top track again. Good music, I mean, and then uh, Nipsey Hustle. Yeah, yeah Nipsey, crazy, Nipsey, Nipsey is Ooh, my brother. Put, my little brother put me onto it, man, and I was. I was I was sleeping for a second. I slept for about a week and then <laughs> jumped on it and been riding heavy to it ever since. I got to give Justin credit because you were the one that was like, yo, if you guys haven't listened to the Nipsey album yet, you got to listen to it. Got to, man. And got it's great because it's motivational. It's not just yeah. like, right. it's not just like, here's what's going on in my life. It's like, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right. it's like champion music. You know what I'm saying? Who is he signed with? Is he probably well, somebody? Indie. He's indie. Oh, I so think. he's not like a, a product of Kendrick or nah, 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 nah. he signed this himself. Dude, one is one of his projects before this one, he sold his albums for like a hundred dollars. Oh so, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jay Z like bought a hundred copies. Wow. Of him, you know what I'm saying? So That's awesome. Yeah, like he's been out there for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, on the indie side, I, I think this particular project might be some type of partnership with a major nice. some type of distribution. Deal they got a lot like of that. yeah. It's getting a lot of. Airway, yeah. Um, so I'm sure he's got some sort of big machine push, but he's kind of indie at heart, you know. Yeah, right. Salute to him. Okay, so yeah, we had an assignment. A couple yeah. of us did um, homework. So we wanted to put together a list of if we had to do a top five with one player coming off the bench of NBA of uh, NBA team, who would it be? All time of all, t- it could be current players yep. of all time. Yep. It's just who would your starting five be? What you mm-hmm. got off the bench? And that's this not was the easy. most yeah, that's <laughs> no, so and that's the thing is the most difficult thing that. <laughs> that's I, but that's so why that's why easy. we did yeah. it because it was because we were actually challenge our, our, our brains. We were actually going to talk like bring this up on last week's podcast when Roy was here, but that conversation it just kept going and going because we had you know so much to talk about on mm-hmm. it um and it was so engaging shout out to Roya, like, man yeah shout out Roya. shout out to Roya. who's, and, who's uh, live on who's watching live on ig yeah yeah get get you know watch us on uh ig live get a shout out we go. During, the, during the podcast my dad's yeah. also watching hey. oh yeah what hey. up? shout out Mr. Yo, Mr. Corner here we gotta do part two soon sir <laughs> <laughs> but um like so we're like all right no we'll we'll just bring it back in the next the next segment and I definitely, I was telling Phil at work, I was like, the more time that I have to think about it, the more I'm changing from my original team that I had. Because yeah. every you just start thinking about so much. I switched my list up so many different times <laughs> with so many different ways. Like, it's crazy. It's yeah. tough to come up with a top five. So let's... Let's get into it. Let's see. Before, before you get into it, can I ask a question? Though? Yeah. Are you Are you building your team in any sort of context of the game? So is it like a team built for today's game? Or is it a team built for? Mm, that's a good question. You know what I mean? Like, 80s, I'm, 90s, I was just approaching it, all time? it, it. It does not matter. Like, we were showing up to play a pickup game. Mm-hmm. So, not necessarily old school NBA, not necessarily like today's NBA. Got but it. what it would be like if we brought these teams out and we're playing an organized pickup game? Okay. Right. You know? Like, right. Okay. So, yeah. So, let's go. Mm-hmm. We want right. to do three now and then three. We'll do three, three now and then we'll pick up the three in act two. Yeah. Act three, so we yeah. can get, in, yeah. get into today's subject content. Yeah. Yeah. Because we got a couple of the people my dad has said already on uh, IG I want to get to. Yeah. Um, so, so, I'll start it off. Okay. First player. We're going to have a lot that. I mean, that we'll, there, we'll probably have a lot on the same list. There should be some. But I have one same. or two that you might not have. On yes. The list. Um, so, one, I'm going to start out with my point guard is going to be AI. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be my point Okay. Guard. Not can't hate on that pound yeah. for pound the best. If you, if I switched it up because I figured. So I, AI would be my point guard. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want me to do my, my three? Then we do. Do three you need to even name yeah. anybody else? Exactly. Like, well, AI, no, a, <laughs> AI getting all the shots, bro. Like. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Name off uh, just two of your other ones, and then we, we can we can discuss. He's probably on everybody's list. I'm, I'm, caught, I'm talking to my dad right now. So. Um, so you do my three, then you do your three. That's what I'm saying. Sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, number two. As my my shooting guard, okay, 
Well, see, I battle because two and three can they're gonna flip flop. It, it could flip flop, yeah. Uh, but my shooting guard is gonna be MJ. Number twenty three. MJ is gonna be my shooting guard. Have to be. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna be on all, everybody's have list. Is where I was like, we might as well just talk about him first. Everybody's gonna talk about MJ. <laughs> the one constant for everybody's list has yeah, to be yeah, MJ. It right? has to exactly. be exactly. Yeah. What would be dope is if our podcast was sponsored by Jumpman. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, back to <laughs> <laughs> um, so <laughs> for those who are listening, I yeah. just did something on IG Live, so yeah. just pay attention to IG Live and you'll get yeah. that. But um number three is gonna be Kobe. Okay. The, mm, okay. The, I don't know who's gonna get that last shot between MJ and Kobe. I guess it depends I mean, on the gonna night. fight between AI, MJ, and Kobe. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, it's AI. I mean, I you know want my... those alphas though. <laughs> You want people being? I'd rather have. I'd rather have the problem of everyone wanting that last shot mm. than no one wanting the last. Right. shot. I can see Kobe like playing D on AI in the game. Right, like <laughs> no wrong team, the same team. Right. Dude. <laughs> but you know what? I think they will all, out of homage or respect, give it to MJ. Yeah. The last shot. I don't yeah, know, man. I, like, I, I, would, well, I mean, well, the last All Star game that he was in. I'm pretty sure they, you know, they tried to set it up for him a little bit. Mike. Yeah. Well, Vince yeah. was. Remember, Vince had. Was starting and, he, and Mike ended up being on the bench. And Vince was like, ultimate. "No, how is that going to happen? Right. No, I'm giving up my starting spot for this dude. He mm-hmm. should never be on anybody's bench." That was a dope move. Yeah, that was yeah. dope. That was move. Super dope Another move. dope move was that crossover that AI did on Jordan. Oh! That's pretty disrespectful. That, yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, that that's you know that's iconic though. That that's was iconic. literally his way that, of saying, "Hey, I am here." And that's, and and. and Everyone was waiting for it too. Right. Yeah, like, you you could you can hear in the broadcast, and you can see when you watch the video, mm-hmm. like everyone stands up. the The announcers start getting all extra excited, They're like, "Oh, it's here! Uh, AI and Jordan! Oh, it's here!" Right. <laughs> Did y'all see those two plays recently that James Harden? Step back where he made oh, my man fall. Oh god! Uh, then, Waiting, uh, that was dirty, James. That was dirty. And then the LeBron where he where he's uh, like triple team into a le- uh, back, and then between the legs of the defender, yeah, that was yeah. kind of fluke nasty. though. Nasty. It, so? was nice, it was yeah, nice though. It was nice. It was nice, but it was this close from being yeah. kicked yeah. down. <laughs> off the, I mean, off the it was it was perfect timing. You'll yeah. never be able to repeat that ever right. again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, CB. Okay, so I mean, so Jordan was one that we can get out of the way. Definitely, I had him. I was telling you when I was looking up. Uh, all the players and doing my research, looking at statistics and stuff. I didn't even look up Jordan stuff because I was like, we're all going to talk about him anyway. So right. there's nothing new <laughs> that I can add to this conversation. Uh, MJ is who he is. So um, I set my team up a little bit differently. Okay. Um, That's what we so need. my who who I'm going to have is my primary ball handler, not necessarily a point guard, but it's going to be LeBron. Okay. Mm. So. Okay. Uh, because if I'm playing with a team of legends too, I know that LeBron will have no problem being the dude when he needs to, but also setting everybody else up. He's, He's cool. an amazing he, facilitator. Yeah, and like when he came into the league, everyone wanted to compare him to, to MJ, but everyone's always known he's been more like Magic than anybody right. else mm-hmm. in terms of the size and uh, the passing ability, right. the creativity, mm-hmm. and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So that goes to the thing uh, of the comparison. Mm-hmm. I think the comparison is always wrong because people want to compare LeBron to Michael mm-hmm. to MJ, and that's not the comparison to make. It's right. LeBron to Magic, right? Because of the style of play. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, I would compare. I w- he's a hybrid to me of Larry Magic and Michael. Right, right, because yeah, he know? can. Different time too. Point, yeah. he's, he's a physical like specimen. He's he can play right. all the positions, play right. them well, mm-hmm. and just yeah. yeah he, I mean, and so, defend. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's that, a that was one of the down. things that exactly. when when I was looking up uh, the statistics, like the dude has been on the all defensive team five times, mm-hmm. like on the first team, and so you're you're not like he he's obviously not a scrub on either end of the floor, dude. Dude's a baller. So I figured for for my primary ball handler. I was going with LeBron. Um, so then, just for this will be my third. Um, I went back and forth on this one. Originally, this was a, I had picked a legend here, and then I had to go with a, a newer age legend. So originally, I had Bill Russell in at my center mm-hmm. position, and I had to switch him out for Shaq. Cause, okay. Yeah. Um, <sighs> I, like looking Aristotle. at, so I'm, it's one of those things like you, you have to think about the, uh, like the the size differences of the generations, Bill Russell is this was is like the same size or smaller than Kevin Durant. Yeah. 
So yeah. that's like one of the things that at, when when I went back and I was originally going to pick him. I was originally going to pick Bill Russell because uh, uh, Shaq calls him the most dominant player of all time or right. most dominant center of all time. Right. So, but in the end, had to go with the Diesel. Right. All right, sir, Justin Blaze, Jess. Um, I definitely agree with the LeBron at the point guard. I definitely ab- agree with Jordan. I think we all do. Um, I th- and I agree with Shaq. One uh, curveball I'm gonna throw in there. I gotta put my man Dirk at four, man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna I be really mad at that. I really respect his game. Like he has this, on a Dirk. A Dirk. He I does have a Dirk. Dirk. <laughs> my guy, <laughs> man. Like <laughs> he's this seven foot guy. I mean, that can shoot it anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. I'm not mad at that. I'm not gonna like. This is. You can construct your team however you want. Yeah. If you want to have, you know, arguably what the the greatest foreign. And player of all time, I would I would give him. Uh, that. He's in the conversation. He's in the conversation. He's in the conversation. I was gonna say, uh, my man, Dream. You could put Dream. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, you, Tim yeah. Duncan. Well, not Tim Duncan, but um, but you know, Matumbo. Yeah, he's yeah Matumbo. Right in there. Ewan for sure. I mean, kind he's of foreign. foreign. He's kind of he's Jamaican. Yeah, Jamaican. Yeah. So I mean, it yeah. depends how you look at. But it. But I would say that he's he's in the, Dirk's in the conversation. Oh, that absolutely. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, he's six on the all-time scoring list. Got a championship, got, got an MVP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, was, he was at finals MVP. Yeah, he was a finals MVP. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he torched the heat. Yeah, when yeah. they shouldn't the first go-round. That, yeah, and I they had no say business getting torched. probably revolutionized the, that position um, mm-hmm. more so than even, I mean, I would argue even more so than KG in that his, like, ball handling skills oh, and, of course, like, his shooting, yeah. his long-distance shooting is nuts. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, I can't okay. argue with that at all. Yeah. Dirk is a man. All right, okay. So that was your that was your three, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I, because I, I know you you had LeBron on there. Yeah, yeah, I had LeBron. I had MJ. I had Dirk. I had. Shaq. Oh, well, we'll, we'll get the other three. Hold, save, 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 right, it, save, right. save, <laughs> save it, save it, save it. But oh, he did say Shaq. But I think. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get the other three. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So it's, oh, Act One is running. Yeah. A little longer tonight. Well, that's, yeah. how, that's how we got to do. So good. it's all. all it's all off the cuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So tonight's topic at hand. The so the show is you mad. You mad. So tonight let's mad, talk son. let's talk pet peeves. Let's talk things that really piss you off. <laughs> grind your gears. Yeah. That Ooh. when it when it happens, you just you're just you know, ready to steam smack. Coming you. out your ears, exactly. turning red, you know. Exactly. Uh, my dad says, uh, back to the one of his starting five, yeah. he put Curly Neal. Wow. <laughs> I actually have a Curly Neal autographed basketball. Hey, that's there awesome. You go. Like, that's I dope. have one just sitting in my basement chilling. <laughs> Was he always bald? Like, Curly? I don't know. Maybe. Because ever since I know, ever since I've I know since him, he was bald, I was like, why the hell do they call him Curly? <laughs> <laughs> so, as, as we're on IG Live as well, while we're getting ready to go into the topic, uh, Roya says she'll collect her coins later. <laughs> we got you. Um. So one quick. Uh, my dad's pet us. peeve is waiting. Yeah. yeah we, so we're waiting. Yeah. yeah. I'm with uh, that. I think we all agree with that. Uh, and then he goes. Uh, and you can get an extended uh, interview with uh, Mr. Konehia. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Plug, plug that. Friends, plug that. Uh, the Eric Konehia episode, episode two. Check that out. Definitely some somebody you want to listen to and learn from. Pops. There you <laughs> go. And he also puts being late. So waiting yeah. to be like that's that's a yeah. good one. Um, oh, not finish uh, what you're going to do. No, what you say you're going to do. Right, right, right. So that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's um, turn my notes here. <laughs> I you mean, start. Go ahead, CB. You start. Uh, you... So I realized a couple of these were real easy because I just I realized when I'm on the road, there's a lot of things that Ooh. really annoy the heck out of me about other people <laughs> out there. <laughs> Um, so one of them uh, actually came up in my 50 truths uh, when you when you, you asked me a question about it, what's, uh-huh. a, what's a pet peeve and immediately what came to mind was people that break when you're going down a hill when there's yes. oh, absolutely man. no oh, reason man. to be doing that like yeah. that actually just annoys the hell out of me because I'm like first <laughs> of all you're wasting gas you, you, you literally could just not break and not even be on the gas and yeah. just you know yeah, and mm. so I mean I just it's just dumb I think yeah. it's dumb and along with that, uh, and this is this is this is really more so stupid on my part, mm-hmm. but it, it does annoy me. If you're in a turn only lane and you still put your turn signal on, um, <laughs> because because in my mind I'm, I'm like a turn signal dude. I'm like I we know. already we already know. and that's I'm like it's 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 not one of those things that like actually. <laughs> 
piss me off. Like mm-hmm. people breaking, going down a hill. But it's just something that I was like, well, I mean, I know where you're going already. So, but <laughs> I, I, I guess Tell thank you, I don't know. thank thank you for for telling me. But you know, you're you're actually just working too hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Josh, you got something for us? Yeah, man. I would say rude ass people. <laughs> oh man, my that, goodness. That matters. just gets underneath my skin. Like if I In I'm, any environment? Any environment. Like day. like um like you can just randomly hold the door open for someone. If oh. they don't say thank you. Right. That, that is, grinds my gears, oh, yeah. man. I'm, I'm right that there. guy. So that say, I've done that. I've been in that situation before. And I'm like, thank you. Yeah, I'm that guy to say, you're welcome. <laughs> you're, welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Or just let the door yeah. go. Because, I mean, it's just common courtesy, yeah. man. There was a uh, YouTube meme about that. The guy held the door open for the lady. She didn't say nothing. Yeah. So he went in and pulled her back outside the door and went in and shut the door in front of her. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Superfly? <sighs> Uh, I I can't be around fake people. I need that authenticity. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't be if you can't be yourself. Don't be around me. Gotcha. Yeah, you feel know? that? I feel you on that. I'm gonna start my stay sucker free. <laughs> the money phone. The money I phone. I hate the money phone. Oh, I like <laughs> the money. I wish I, I was having the money to do. I don't money. know. If <laughs> I'll take the money. But hold on, right. hold on. Now, if you got the stacks to actually to do, do it, it. Though. exactly. Maybe that's why I'm hating because right. I don't have the stacks to do it. Right. I gotta wrap a one, a brick right. in between ones on the outside. Make sure I got my. Yeah. I gotta skip a house oh. payment. You know. What yeah. I mean? like, yeah. you know got exactly. some mortgage in a hand. Exactly. I can see myself being kind of ignorant, right. being like, "Hello, right. hold on." <laughs> you know what, what, mean? what did Jay Z say about the money phone? I. I yeah, exactly. I just I can't, can't stand them. I can't stand exactly. them. That was in four, four, four. But mm-hmm. I hate the money phone. But I, um, anything else? Yeah. Um, kind of uh, going on a, I think in in a similar vein of fake people, but uh, wasted potential. Mm. When you Ooh. see somebody that you're like, if I actually had the opportunities that you're getting, I'd actually be doing something with it mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, Is this another height thing? <laughs> no, because no, no, I'm saying every podcast you've had. Yeah, no. <laughs> every no like, so one of, one of the things that people will learn about over. me is I'm very into the self-deprecating humor. And I think it's hilarious to make fun of my height because technically I'm like maybe just below average. Mm-hmm. But I'll. it's funnier to me to act like I'm like four foot 11 or something. Gets. Uh, s- set the bar extra low and I'll still be able to uh, limbo under it, you know? Right. <laughs> Jeff? So sports-wise, and this kind of plays on the basketball topic, I hate people that say that Kobe is better than Jordan. Oh, yes. <laughs> I agree. I can't. I have a... I literally, no lie, I have a buddy of mine that called me Monday and he's like, hey, um, how many uh, uh, Oscars does Jordan have? <laughs> and I was thinking, I was like, hold on, does Space Jam have one? <laughs> I, I was thinking, I really had to think about it, and I was just like, none. It he was like, exactly, one. that just solidifies Kobe. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like, just leave me alone, please, get out of here. Yeah. please. Yeah. That may have been more of a like, we're gonna get this dude an Oscar because for what he did for the game, he actually had a decent documentary out. We'll give it to him. But I mean, I, it was nice. It yeah. was nice. I, I thought it was dope. But let's not act like Space Jam was not the dopest. <laughs> as a kid, oh, yeah. as a kid, was who not didn't want to play basketball with the Looney yeah, Tunes yeah. characters for real? Yeah, of for me, it was just the shoes. It was just. And the, the shoes. I mean, the- but uh, it was so funny because uh, when we were kids, and w- I think we're all old enough to remember Blockbuster. That was yep. like the dopest thing. It's like Friday oh, yeah. night, your mom taking you to the movie mm-hmm. rental joint. Right. Um, you know, before before Redbox and you know all that stuff. Yeah, and uh, we all y'all we watch. And so right. we go. Right, right, it's right, the right, week yeah. that Space Jam comes out on on VHS. We go to Blockbuster and they were already all rented out. Oh, yeah, yeah. And my brother bawled. He was <laughs> in tears <laughs> no. in Blockbuster because I mean he he'll probably tell you today that that's like his favorite movie. So there yeah, you go. Yeah. You know, I remember seeing that. And the soundtrack was dope. And we went to um, up in Greenbelt. That was when they uh, still had a movie theater mm-hmm. out there. And at eleven <laughs> o'clock show on Saturday, it was packed, <laughs> packed. Uh, on IG Live, um, my brother says he hates people who say KD is better than LeBron. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's okay. a fair. That's okay. fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. yeah. I, like, he doesn't I, have the I hardware. Would say better. I would say yeah. better offensively. I mean, but not. But not. All around right, game, right, right, yeah. right, right. I think right. that's you can definitely make that argument. Yeah. You can you can make the argument that KD is the most unstoppable offensive player in the history of the NBA. Right. So so is LeBron. 
Well, well, <laughs> like in terms of just pure scoring. Oh, okay. Right? Not, not just like not like everything that they bring to the offensive side. Right. Because it's you know L- LBJ is ridiculous as yeah. an assist man. So. Also, my dad said um, Justin's got a black pair of cements coming for the comment about. <laughs> Hold up, hey, my man, my man, my man, size ten, baby. (laughs) Yeah, we need to keep pumping in the Jordan reference. Keep pumping, yeah. (laughs) Um, Saggy pants. I hate seeing your underwear. Why? Why do I need to see that? Especially when did when did they go when they went from the skinny jeans sag like that, that don't even make any sense. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, does. it doesn't make any sense, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness! Like oh, why? Man. Like why do you turn off that trap, man? I, like, and I think that's a sign of age because even though when I was young, I never wanted my underwear to show. Right. But still, when I'm I see it now, I'm like I can't stand that mess. Like what the hell is wrong with you? Right. I mean. I always felt like I needed to be ready to play sports at any moment. Uh, so I couldn't, you couldn't be out there balling in some hammer pants, man. Like, you know, try to it's dribble the ball between your legs. Right. Right. You know. I mean, I don't mind the skinny jeans. It's just, I don't like them just ridiculously tight. Like yeah. to where you can't even walk. Right. right. No, but right. if they it's, sag them and then they walk funny with them, it's like, yeah. you don't know it's what not even all the way around your waist. Like, right. Right. That's horrible. What just you got? Not trying to go anywhere fast. Um, I would say uh, I don't like nasty smells, man. <laughs> so, like, I don't like I don't like the especially odors. when they, when when they're not supposed to be there. Yeah, like yeah, when you like, go to the dump, you know. What I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, like I don't like encountering someone with terrible breath. I yeah. don't like yeah. like walking in your area and just something just ain't right, man. Right. I'm just I'm immediately turned off and I don't yeah. want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, why do I have to be part of your body odor? Yeah, like, that's, that's a personal yeah. thing. Right, exactly. right, right. I shouldn't right, be right. there. Keep, and, and and handle that. Like it's right. not hard. It's not tough at all. Right. I do um, customer service on in my part time job. So what irks me, and I never paid attention to it until somebody mentioned it to me. I hate when customers put the money on the counter. And slide it to you instead of paying you by hand. Right. When they count the money out, out. <laughs> and pay you on the counter, and so what I started doing was giving the change back on the counter and sliding to them. Just like, hey, it's like touche, a drug dealer. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have fun trying to pinch your fingers, exactly. your thumb, and your forefinger together. I pick those pennies up. Exactly. Yeah. Have fun with that. No. Um, going back to a basketball related thing. Um, how many, how many MVPs does Shaq have? Ooh. I would say at least four. He's got one. Really? Steve, Only one? Steve Nash yeah. has more MVPs than wow. Shaq. Wow. He's got two, right? What? Yeah. yeah. And I think that that actually grinds my like gears. The 2000 season? Was that yeah, the, uh, the, the first uh, Lakers joint? Yeah. He's a three times finals MVP. Okay. But he only has one overall MVP. Uh, se- like season see long MVP. And <laughs> I mean, we're talking about. A 15-time All-Star, uh, you know, four-time champion. But you remember, you can play with Jordan, so you got to take, you got to take at least six of those years. Well, I mean, away. you also and think about uh, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like people were getting on, um, like, uh, like in terms of Kobe not having as many like Finals MVPs as, the, as they would have thought. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, he did once Shaq was gone, but Shaq right. was the one getting those when they were winning them right. them early. You know, so, also Tim Duncan in that era, like there's a lot of yeah. Legends, I mean that's man. that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. That's so we got some IG chime ins real quick. So this is what we want to promote people yeah. watching live. Um, so Quetopple on uh, IG says the saggy pants was originally to show off designer boxers, and right. then uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we just gonna roll with that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, then. My got dad those, commented on that fruit of was that uh, <laughs> <laughs> my dad commented on that saying skinny jeans give you yeast infections on your balls. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, really like some of these little young that was the PSA, PSA by man. Mr. Eric on the here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and then uh, Quatapa goes, but now if you have less than two streaks, show it off. <laughs> Get out of here! Oh what, is, what is going on? Here? Uh, and then oh, this is a good one. I hate people who don't know what they want at McDonald's. 
Mm. Yeah, that's, mm. that's a good one because when's the last time that menu has really changed? Uh, it hasn't. It's like it's more or less like pick the poison that you want to die by. <laughs> and, <you> know, <laughs> yeah, I can see you being choosy about that. You know, <laughs> right? Speaking about McDonald's, man, like I'm gonna tell you another reason why I'm mad. So I went to a McDonald's literally Friday, and I was trying to order a quarter pounder with Big Mac sauce. Nobody is working at the counter. Mm-hmm. You all you have is these kiosks where you can order, and it has nowhere for me to add Big Mac sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo. And it's like 7 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Like, where is everybody at, man? Right. Like, let me get some service. <laughs> right. Um, I got a real one. This is this is a real pet peeve, and I think a lot of people are going to probably agree with this. Mm-hmm. I hate when people try to make Kaepernick stance on social and racial injustice about the military. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Nothing it has yeah. nothing to do with the military. He happens no. to his movement happened during the national anthem, yes, mm-hmm. which brought in the military aspect of it. But not once has he ever come out and spoken against the military. No. Mm-hmm. I mean he's met with service members. Right. First you know. he, he was sitting at, originally, then he spoke to a veteran and asked, which how should I do it since city may be disrespectful? Mm-hmm. Take a knee. Because they soldiers take knees as well. Yeah. So they he took a knee, and that's still not good enough. Yeah. And, but also, time out. Standing up for the national anthem is also not supporting the military. If you just stand up for the national anthem, but you don't go to the airport to meet them when they come back on very good from point. flights or send them money or um, care packages and stuff mm-hmm. like that, that's the support they really need. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They don't know that you're standing up for the anthem. Right. Does like, anybody know what the third verse of the national anthem is? Hey, we wanted to get. Do we, 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 we want to get into that tonight? <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no, we could, right? <laughs> we can get real. We we'll address that. Right. Yeah, we'll exactly. we'll, this is tonight's a fun show, but yeah. yeah, don't make it. And then getting off subject for a second, my man is blackballed from the NFL from the right. league. Right. One had the, one of the highest numbers when his last year in the league, even though his team was horrible, his numbers were still high, and they're going out signing these dudes that. Barely made it through yeah, the combine. They're making a point. They yeah. trying to. Are they trying to make a point? You can easily bring up five, ten guys that I feel like Kaepernick is better than them. I mean, that played last year and started multiple yeah. games. Yep. Okay, so Jimmy Garoppolo, who's the new mm-hmm. uh, 49ers he's got quarterback, a big bag, right? Mm-hmm. Got, yeah. He's in his bag now yep. for sure. Hey. Uh, if you look at he, he played five games for him this year, right? Yep. yep. Look at his last five games. And look at Kaepernick's last five games, and, neck and the neck. similarities are, it's ridiculous. Yeah, they're it, neck and it's neck. almost like the exact same. And one dude, those stats made him not good enough to be on the team. Right. And this other dude just got paid a whole lot of money. Yeah. Right. And it's like, all right. Just man. not good to be on any team, but all 30. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's okay. This will bring up a, something just a pet peeve that I'm about to have because if it happens, I'll be mad um, on the NFL aspect. So, we got a guy like maybe Garoppolo who may have earned somewhat of a big check after five games. But then you got a guy who will go to Cousins who's mm. about to get a $90 million guaranteed contract. Deal. That's what they're saying. Is million the if, who, who's is no, the Vikings. Minnesota. Okay. If Minnesota, Minnesota offered this guy a hundred plus million, but 90, no, it's the, whole, the whole contract I, what I, is guaranteed. What I heard was they're, because they can't officially, uh, like offer it to him until the league year or free agency officially right. starts, whatever. But I think the report was three years, $91 million, fully guaranteed. And I don't know in the modern era, any time where we've seen a fully guaranteed NFL contract, like for for a veteran. Outside of Jamarcus Russell. They're probably just saying that, though. Wasn't that his rookie deal? Oh, it was his rookie deal. So, like, I have heard about some of the, the rookie deals. Um, being structured that way, but not not like a veteran's contract that he got in free agency. Wow. So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm like more power to him, man. Like, it, it, I hope I hope he goes out there, he gets his money, and he balls. Right, but that'll bring up because Drew Drew Brees is in a contract negotiation year. Mm-hmm. Um, so that means he should be getting. If this contract goes he? through, How old is Drew he Brees, yeah, he's like like thirty seven. He's like thirty seven. No, thirty seven. He's got to be like thirty eight. Right he should be. Yeah, he's his, been in the and he's still balling, so his contract. He's got to be like forty. He's older than he's, me. He's I'm about to be. There. I'm about to be thirty-seven. Oh man! <laughs> and he was in the league. He might be thirty-eight. Then. He might be up there with Tom, school. but he's not as old as Tom, though. Yeah, he's got to be pushing um, forty. But I should bring his numbers high. But 
You're talking about Aaron Rodgers is also. I was about waiting. to say if my man goes to the Vikings, he'll be still in the same division with Aaron Rodgers, who is the best quarterback in that division, maybe in the in league. the league. Yeah, I would so, say from a physical that, standpoint, um, all the all that like the fact that he can run is something that like right. Brady can't do and things yeah. like that. The athleticism that he has is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Right. Um, so feeding back off of my last, um comment about Kaepernick another mm-hmm. pet peeve is when people act like racism or social issues still don't exist right yeah yeah like uh, they're blind to the fact it's right. definitely still alive and well man like I don't think it'll ever die either it's not it would never it never but especially with the next four years in the white well three years in the White House we got going on it's always gonna be at hand or at top at, you know a subject matter that is gonna be out there because of how they promote it. They're like promoting and egging these people on. Right. Um, and, and Superfly, you're right. He's 39. Okay. I knew. I was yeah. like, yo, <laughs> he had to be playing a league before I got out of high school. <laughs> but yeah, not, not Phil. I, I think that's a, uh, that's a super real thing. Cause we're, even though there's probably, um, you know, significant strides made from, you know, even a number of decades ago, I know that me and you walking down the same street, we're not at the same level of safety. No. I, like, no. I, I, that's just, that's a real thing. That's a, an absolute real thing. Especially if we're not in the summer and I'm not extra dark. And then we're both pretty bad off. But, you know, it's, I, that's one of the things that I try to explain to people when, uh, especially when we're talking about, like, you know, these social stands and things. It's like, because me and my friends, can't go out just in the general day and experience life the same way. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, there, there's stuff that y'all got to worry about that I've never had to worry about. It's yeah. because it's not, it's never been a reality for me, you know, and that kind of stuff is jacked up. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, so, I know we're working towards it, but we, we still got a ways to go. So side note, let's, while we're, this, this is the best part about the show is because it's organic conversation <laughs> yeah. and anything can happen. So I was listening to Superfly Friends and Superfly plug, told a story. Plug, plug, plug. He right. told a story about an uh, experience where him and his wife got pulled over. Well, girlfriend at the time got pulled over by the police. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't listen to interracial dating, Superfly um, on IG right now, he's he's black and mm-hmm. his wife is I'm white. Black, yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I want you to just chime in real quick. Tell your try to we tell the story. Tell the story. You don't have to go all the way into it, but just while we're on this subject, just tell the story real quick about. How you felt, what happened, where, where were you at, mm-hmm. what time it was, all that. Right. Um, so it was my birthday. Uh, it had to be a big birthday. Probably when I was turning 25. Um, and we went, we gone out to dinner. Um, actually, it was like 14, 15 of my closest friends. We all went to the chart house in Annapolis. Uh, ate real good. My dad paid for the whole the whole meal. I remember that night. It was like, <laughs> it was like a quadruple. <laughs> digit meal <laughs> you know what i'm saying and uh so it was a great night and you know we all went bar hopping um and you know by the end of the night i was twisted i was done and my wife she doesn't drink um really like that at all uh so she was designated driver so we're riding back out to um uh, leaving annapolis riding back out um of annapolis and we get pulled over it's like two in the morning they're like blinking, you know, when it's late at night um, and the lights are just blinking, maybe blinking yep. red or blinking yellow. Mm-hmm. So we kind of just roll right through through those lights. Not fast, not speeding or anything like that. Right. She might have been going like 25 miles an hour. Um, we get pulled over uh, by an officer. Um, and I I remember it being several officers. My wife doesn't remember uh, how many were there uh, or doesn't remember it the same way. Uh, but I remember that uh, they asked her to get out of the vehicle um while she was out of the vehicle taking sobriety tests uh on my side there was an officer just standing there with his light kind of just flashing on me i'm drunk i'm telling him i'm drunk i'm telling her she's the designated driver that she didn't have anything to drink they still made her go take a sobriety test even though she really didn't drink um and you know as i told the story i really felt like um i was being pressured or put into a pressure situation trying to get a reaction out of me to right. escalate it more to something tragic happening. Um, luckily, you know, I was able to keep, you know, my calm. We got out of it. You know, they 
they got they you know obviously know that she wasn't drunk. Mm-hmm. Let right. her back in the car. They probably they got, could tell that off the first three minutes talking yeah, to her that right, she wasn't. Right, they right, wrote yeah. her a ticket for rolling through uh, like rolling through a blinking light. Or whatever. Yeah. Um, so but then she took like the yeah. she she actually and I, the way I told the story the last time was incorrect. She didn't go into court. Uh, the city of Annapolis sent us a letter or sent her a letter saying that she no need, no longer needed to come to court. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, okay. The shit was super, you know what I mean, super hey. whack. You know, yeah. it, obviously it was a we get um, bench warrants attempt. thrown at us. Like issue a bench warrant, this guy yeah. better show up in, in, in court. And I think you know we talked about it on the Eric Elton here episode of Superfly Friends. Go check that out. <laughs> plug, um, plug, I'm not gonna plug, plug, plug too many times on your on your, on your <laughs> show, man. But um, uh, he talked about how you know police departments are um. Uh, um, incentivized to write tickets, you know, based on, um, you know, whatever, uh, quota or money they're trying to get, um, you know, they, they have to, that, that's part of their duty. Um, but you know, from my side of things, I really felt like I was, you know, putting a, a no win situation there. Um, right. but we got out of it safe and, you know, I'm here to live to talk about it. There you go. You know, but yeah, that shit is real. Like racism still here, y'all, you yeah. know, you gotta, yeah. it's important to talk about it and be, be straight up about it. Um, and continue to dialogue um, and, and, and continue to force change. You know? I'm telling you, man, once everybody's all some shade of brown, we'll be all right. Here we go. And it's funny that you bring up that it happened in Annapolis because I literally had something like that happen today. Oh, um, <laughs> they still going like that in Annapolis? <laughs> Yo, it was so crazy. So um, my buddies and two of my cousins, we met, and um, we were actually went to a sushi place. And so we're having sushi, and uh, my buddy and my cousin are outside smoking a cigarette. And um, I guess this family comes up, and they're asking one of them to take a picture, right? So when my buddy grabs the camera, uh, my cousin actually heard someone say, watch the brown guy. <laughs> and it watch was like... Watch the brown guy. And it was just like, <laughs> are you serious? Right. Like... It was just absolutely ridiculous. I man. mean, sometimes the ignorance is just hilarious, but it's just it's yeah, real. Like, man. How yeah, is... man. I mean, it's it would be hilarious if they didn't have guns. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sheesh. All right. Um, we'll probably have we we'll have an entire episode about. Yeah, we will. Yeah, no, no, oh, we definitely want to. That's yeah. another. That's on the list. Of things to to address, and that's gonna be a really deep one because yeah. I just want to figure out who's the perfect person or people to have a round table for that one. That's a right. good one. Yeah. Um, you, you know go what? And, uh, flip it back around. Yeah. You know what? What, what grinds my gears? What I hate when people say Mo. Hey Mo, <laughs> Mo. Like you ain't from DC, like, Mo. What? The, uh, right. Mo, what? <laughs> I feel like only who the, people. Who the hell is Mo? Only people with zip code two zero 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 one are allowed to say Mo. If you got if you got nineteen in your joint or uh, you know two oh seven in your in your zip code, you can't say Mo. You gotta say Young. <laughs> you can't say Mo. And can you like for those out there? Can you say two? Instead of T T. Yeah, t- that's that's the four ten right four one zero four four three. Um. Do you, <laughs> what about this? Oh, youngins. These youngins on the train, man. Huge pet peeve of mine. Like when I take the train into work, I come That's a home. Decades old discussion. That, <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> youngins on the youngins on the red line. The red, green line. Right. Oh my god! And you know they all getting off at of Anacostia. That's the bad part about it. That's on Southern <laughs> Avenue. They uh, get on my nerve. CB, you got something for me? <laughs> yeah. Um. Regular ass dudes who are like still kind of tall though and can't dunk. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Loki shade. Loki shade and uh, <laughs> like. Man, kids exactly. Exactly. Y'all, needed Y'all needed it. Y'all needed it. Exactly. Kids I can't I dunk. think I might be I with you on that one, CB. I can't dunk. No, but it's like we'll be like you, you go to the park to play pickup or whatever <laughs> and you go to throw this dude an oop. Thinking but because he's like six five that he's just gonna, you know, catch it and windmill it or something and he catches it and he lays it up below the rim and I'm like, What the heck? God. <laughs> That's like the turn around dunk on him. Then you turn around and dunk, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dunk on him after that. Damn, Damn really <laughs> blessed with height for That's no cold, reason. Right. Bro. I'm like, That's man, <laughs> come on, bro. 
Not everybody had them jump shoes, the trainers. Yeah, right. exactly, right? With the little springs <laughs> in the front, right? right? Yeah, I remember train, those. Train, train, uh, your, train your calves I up. I needed right. those. Um, people going fast in the slow lane. <laughs> I mean, slow in the fast lane. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I just jacked I mean, that up. I'm sorry. But people yeah. going slow in the fast lane. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh-oh, what happened? Yeah, maybe, End it. Maybe we got to the uh, the limit. Live, okay, mm-hmm. live video ended right now. So we're going to share them and get back, right back on. Yeah. But yeah, why are you going 45 on the beltway in the fast lane? Yeah. Um, I have a story about when me and my brother, we went to a concert in Silver Spring. We're at the Fillmore. And so we got an Uber on the way home. And it's like... 130 uh maybe one o'clock 130 something like that and it all it already started out weird because me and my brother go to uh 7-eleven to pick up some food real quick for the ride my brother goes to get the uber says that the uber's already out front we, and there was a bunch of cars parked out front but no one had their lights on like it was just like everyone was just parked on the street and so my brother it was real weird so my brother calls the guy and doesn't he doesn't pick up so we come outside and then all of a sudden the lights on one of the cars turn on it's the uber driver one of the oldest uber drivers i've ever had and the fact that it's like uber driver one something one something in the morning it was like this is already gonna this is already getting off to a really weird start this guy takes about 12 turns to make a three-point turn and then we get onto the highway, and I took a Snapchat of this because that, it allows you to get <laughs> that the, took the that long. You were able to. <laughs> we were doing thirty-five miles an hour on two seventy. Oh my and god! We're, uh, and like I can I can show you all the video. Oh, I, I, I got the video. <laughs> we're doing thirty mile, thirty-five miles per hour on two seventy, and because it's the highway and the posted speed limit is at least fifty-five, you got. Cars just driving by him, and every time a car passed him, he slowed down more. And I was like, "What the heck is going on?" Right? It, it was wild. It, it what should have been like a twenty-five minute ride home took us like forty-five minutes. It was, it was insane. I can't. I can't stand the s- slow people, man. Slow people driving when should be moving. How about? This, I think this is my ultimate pet peeve. This is when people tell you, "I got something to talk to you about." But I'll tell you later. <laughs> what the hell? Why well, even tell me now? Don't tell right. me that. Don't tell me that because all day long my mind is going to be mm-hmm. racking. I'm like, well, what the hell is it? Just give me a hint. What is it about? But I hate that as my absolute top of line pet peeve. Like, if you want to see me pissed off, mm-hmm. tell me you got to tell me something and then oh, but we'll talk about it later. <laughs> I'll be in the, if I'm in the middle of my work day and you call me to tell me, oh, I got something to talk to you about later. What? Right. Tell me, like, what? you spend all this time calling me. Yeah. Just... And even if they My... give you the hint, it's going to piss you off more because you're like, all right, now, I definitely want to know now. Right, exactly. Because I'm, yeah. I'm trying to guess on the hint. Right, because the hint would be something crazy like, oh, it's, it's, it ain't got nothing to do with money, but, uh, you know, I just need to ask you about something that you bought. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, don't make any sense. So Roya says, uh, "What about people who thirst trap on social media?" Hey, don't be calling hey, me out, Roya. Stop. <laughs> I never got that, man. I, Sliding in the DM, not nah, stop it, man. Thirst trapping on social media. I mean, social media has made it easy for you to do anything you want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can host a podcast. <laughs> you can yeah. find a bunch of friends. You can talk right. to people across the world, or yeah. you can lay a line out there. Mm-hmm. To get everybody's attention or try to get yeah. women, whatever. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah, one uh, thirst we, trap oh, comment. Man. I'm not gonna make any. I'm not gonna say any names, but this person knows who they are. Thirst trapping comment is: Don't you hate when the most handsomest guys in the world are the loneliest? <laughs> 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 yes. Oh man, I hope I hope he listens to this. I really I hope, do. I hope, uh, he's, Thirst traffic comment though, just oh, like bro. what? It, I mean, and but it gets the reaction you yeah. want. Well, because it, it's the all you need is the reaction from one. Right. That's all that you need. Right. You only need yeah. one person it's to no respond loss. the way that you're looking for. Right. That's the whole point of casting out the line. Um, we can we can get ready to wrap up out of this segment going to yeah. Act Three, but there's a, 
Uh, we can speed through real quick. There's a couple that I definitely want to say. Uh, when people ride your bumper, yeah, I like, hate why, that. Why, why you? Mm-hmm. I should. If you want to ride, get in the back seat. Just you know, hey, can I get a ride? Or just go around, man. Just go around. Like, like if you're in that much of a hurry, go. All right. Do you ever do the brake check? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I've done it. Yeah. yeah, I do it all the time. Like if it's one of those things, it's like, bro, if if you can go around me, go around me. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and then out in mind with. Another pet peeve I have is I'm not going to say this dude's name on the air because on, on, on my show, our show, <laughs> but there's a guy in D.C. who has the morning show on one of the biggest black radio stations there is in D.C. And it's not 93.9. Okay. I can't stand this dude. Why the hell does he have a morning show? <laughs> I'm not going to say his name. Everybody in this room knows who this guy is. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. And I, I'm not going to say this, but that is my pet peeve. He's not wow. funny at all. Really? He is not funny I at all. I thought he was kind of funny. You think he's funny? Back in back when he used to be on another Don't radio show, that uh, another host show back in the day when he was on, when they were on KYS, <laughs> I thought that was that day used to be funny, but... I'm I'm, I'm gonna whisper the name to you because I think we're talking about the same person. Mo Blair. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He whispered that real softly. Yeah. Subliminal. Right. Yeah, subliminal. Yeah. Oh this, man. Mo Blair is. I not, like Mo, man. He's. Then look, I'm trying to. Tell I you. like his stand ups. Stand ups ain't I thought, bad. I thought he's funny, but I don't know. I don't listen to his show. So he's just. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, we'll put it like now. this. I'm with you. I think his stand ups are better than. Okay, good. I'm with you. CB is with me. That's why. That's why me and CB are right here. All right, so. Enough for Mo Blair, whatever. Mm-hmm. Anybody else got anything for we nah, segue? Well, covered on mine, okay. really. Yeah. All right, so now back to now we're in Act Three. Yeah. Back to this a basketball. Let's yeah. pick up the team. So we, yeah. we all went close to it first, out. Close, close it out, out with the go. ultimate basketball teams yep. of greatest NBA players, retired NBA players, or current NBA players. Just yep. Our ultimate team. So those just chiming in. That's what we are. We already said our first three. Now we're on our. Second half now. Yeah, because we're starting Can y'all five recap plus one though, off the bench. After you, after you name your last two. Yeah, we'll recap. recap right. yeah, we'll do the whole team after. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So let me get my notes. Now these are going to be the spots where. Right. So now uh, the difference. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people can be mad. But so I did my first three. So now we're on power forward, possibly, or however you want to do it. Yeah. But my power forward. Is going to be and this. This no one's going to have this guy on their team, Dennis Rodman, mm, that's best rebounder ball, okay to ever ball, play in the NBA. Yeah, no a one lot is, of games are won and lost over boards. Yeah, man. not yeah. and Dennis Rodman knew how to get under your skin. Oh yeah, yeah. He knew how to make you mad. He'd be perfect on the street ball. Court, Everybody man. wanted to fight Dennis. Oh yeah, I and think he, every team needs an a hole. Yeah, he was that guy. Yeah, but I mean, he, my man is diving on floors, going at the basketballs, everything, and yeah. then. Let's be honest. He was the only one that checked magic when he came back <laughs> to the league. Checked him so hard really too. Can't. Like Dennis was right. like, I don't care. Right. I'm no. I mean, I'm anyway, hungry. he actually went to go visit Kim Jong Un. Right. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, yeah. So, so you Dennis already know what like he's about. An ambassador. Yeah. He's keeping everything yeah. cool. That's Who why. Put him in charge. Him. Uh-huh. 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 to go. I guess. Uh-huh. I, do, I respect. I do respect Dennis's movement. I read his story. His book. Um, but Dennis was the first one dyeing his hair blonde. Yeah. Wearing the he went back to the retro short shorts. My man could ball though. So yeah. he may give you two points a game. But my man was He might like airball a free throw or two. But he he could he could, he was a threat to get twenty rebounds any night. But which was funny is before he switched his personality, my man was putting up twenty a game. Mm-hmm. He was a scorer, but then he decided but whatever. All right. Um The sneakers were terrible. <laughs> the worms? Oh my remember. god, the worms. The I worms were I wasn't, dope. I wasn't a fan. He also man, wore I those uh, those Indestructs, which I think he had the Darwins. Of... Then he had the worm. Oh man, that's... nah, I'm not a. Nah, <laughs> okay, I'm good. That's a for the soul segment. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta... We'll, we'll, set, we'll have good. to save that for for the soul. And then to round up, um, my guy, my my center. Mm-hmm. We already said Shaq. I'm gonna have Shaq as my center. So not only do I have one of the best rebounders, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have the best guy, most dominant to big play man. Yeah. under the board. And, uh, um, and who, who's your sixth man then? Coming off the bench, yeah. I'm gonna go with King James. Mm. Okay, King James coming okay. off the bench. A lot of people had LeBron there starting. Hey. I wanted to switch it up and be different. Hey. He's still on my team. He's just a sixth man. Yeah, yeah. It was either him or Kyrie. Hey. But 
I'm gonna go with King James because AI is gonna give me what Kyrie is. Right. Yeah. To. Yeah. You kind of already right. got that covered. Um, so yeah, my last couple ones are uh, you didn't have you didn't have any of these guys. So um, first surprise pick is Anthony Davis. Okay. Okay. Um, I respect. We're talking that. about. He's having an incredible year. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, doing he's really doing, doing is, some things right. that no one has ever done before. Right. Like this dude, when he's healthy, is basically unstoppable. A yeah. six ten dude that stepped his range out to mm-hmm. to being he's not like a great three point shooter, but he's shooting around 34 percent. Mm-hmm. Um, so for a big dude to be pulling a, another big man away from the basket, yeah. opening it up for everybody else, he's a matchup problem. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I had him on the squad. And then I switched it up, and my last dude, uh, I was rounding, rounding out another wing, have KD. Um, I just figured with this team, it, like Jordan's the shortest dude at 6'6 um, in the starting lineup, mm-hmm. and all these guys can play defense. All these dudes can, can, can strap, and when they need to, to score, all these guys are comfortable doing it. And then... Uh, for me, coming off the bench, the greatest shooter in NBA history, Stephen Curry. Okay. Coming right. up, okay. I'm not mad at that. Right. Right. I'm not mad. I figured he's going to be on somebody's list. <laughs> Just? Yeah, my, my list is, I swear, me and Chris is, <laughs> uh, this is so the same. <laughs> oh, man. So I definitely have uh, uh, LeBron at point. Mm-hmm. I got MJ at, at the two guard. Um, I'm going to put Kobe at three. Okay. Um, of course, I gotta rep my guy. You got Dirk, my man Dirk, Dirk at four. Um, the big Aristotle at, yeah, at, at the five. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And um, I must say Steph, man. Okay. Steph can Steph. I'm not mad at that at all. It can be, but if I, but it's very close race because I could easily put Russell in there. Uh, yeah. There was a couple of dudes. I was I was thinking like more legacy guys. I was thinking about having Magic on the squad, mm-hmm. but I went with LeBron. Um, I was thinking about having Wilt or Kareem, Mm -hmm. but I ultimately went with Shaq over Mm -hmm. all all those guys. Um, Kareem, man. I think people don't really appreciate how, especially a young Kareem, Mm -hmm. how devastating that dude is, man. So. I mean, we're talking about the number one score in NBA history. Right. You know? Right. He has to be doing something, right? Right. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So I'll recap my team. I had AI, Jordan. Kobe, Dennis, Shaq, LeBron. Okay. And I had uh, LeBron, MJ, Shaq, Anthony Davis, KD, and then Steph coming off the bench. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had LeBron, MJ, Kobe, Dirk, Shaq, and Steph. Yeah. And – we probably could do another list and exclude all those players. Right, mm-hmm. right. And yeah. have just... D- just do... All right, now who's the second team? It's like, okay. Right, right. exactly. Right. Um, James, do this exercise James, got James times. Harden. James, got, we got James Harden. We got CP. Right. Yeah. Kyrie. Kyrie. Marbury. Yeah. I would... I might... I, I would, might, I would, I might just put try Kyrie to put a team together AI. with my favorite ball And, and that was my, that was my issue Kyrie because... I was I was battling between Kyrie or AI, but I went with AI because... That's what I'm saying. It's like... The, to date, we're in a renaissance right now in professional basketball, I feel like. And the game has completely changed to basically like positionless basketball. Yeah, yeah. Right. All these guys, I don't care how tall you are, you can play anywhere on the floor, yep. you can handle the ball. Yep. Um, and that's and how I was thinking about it when paradigm. I was putting my team together. Yeah. 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 I mean, point guards now, you think to back in the, the 90s when I was first growing up, is like, Point guards were seen as facilitators. Yeah. And now yeah. they're 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 driving the lane. Now. Wall, yeah, yeah. Somebody they're not playing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so for the soul segment. Do something. And we do still something. have to post our pictures on for the soul. Yeah. Yeah. So for, um, for those who don't know, for the soul is our our sneaker segment. We um all gotta love for we're sneaker heads. Uh, yep. fact, let's, let's go around the room real Although quick. Hold on, <laughs> Marcus got on the uh, got the air house shoes, <laughs> the, the air house, house shoes. those air uh, right. the joints that you wear when you grilling. Exactly, <laughs> the air grilling and air they comfortable, bro. Exactly. Yeah, he got on the dad grillers, but that's okay. So, exactly. my man CB, silver bullets, dog. Air Max, okay, look at those. I give me the heads up. I can, I gotta go get some shoes. On. I mean, you know, this, this is all impromptu, man. This is all. It's like my man, my man, Jess. 
Got on some thirteens, yeah. bro. There you go. I mean, you know hey, I respect that for the, the segment. 13s. And then me, I'm wearing. I don't know, see. Got on. See, I'm gonna start stunting on them. Got on. <laughs> oh, it's my old ACGs. And then, um, so we'll. But I, I did pick up something hot this week. Okay. I got uh the Wave Runners. Ooh, mm. you did from a you from did. a from a source, uh, a friend of mine that. That's in the league. He hooked me up um, with something that's very hard to find. Dope. And it, um, uh, I'm happy about that. Last week, or I guess a week and a half ago, Phil hits me up and he's like, I might have something very big on the way. And I was like, all right. I was like, okay. And so then a couple days later, he was like, nah, it's going down. It's going nah, to happen. It's, it's going to happen. <laughs> he just walked up to my desk. He was like, it's happening. And I was like, okay. But he wasn't telling us what, what it was. Isn't that feeling amazing? It's though? a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> oh you know God. something. I'm like, <laughs> so we get the box, and then there's the box inside of the box. And then when you took <laughs> out the box that was underneath that box, and you saw the Yeezy across the top, right. I was like, ooh, okay. I hit Chris with my pet peeve earlier. I was like, I got something to tell you, but I'm not going to tell you right <laughs> exactly. now. <Yeah. laughs> but that's but so what, uh, what a lot of people might not know is that um, the whole For the Soul thing came about because me, Phil, and uh, when Justin was there, Justin would come by for it every, from time yeah. to time. And our boy, Louie, um, whenever we get new sneakers, <clears throat> excuse me, and we, we'll get them sent to work, we'll, we'll do like a... Basically, like a an unboxing, uh, an unboxing. yeah. Um, and so I'd be like, Hey, who got some heat this week? And uh, to kind of cap that off, um, I'd placed a bid on a pair of uh, some sneaks that I've mm. been wanting for a little while on StockX. Mm. And it's one of those things where if a seller just accepts your bid, it just goes through. So at the end of my work, one of my work days last week, I think on Wednesday, I just get this ping on my phone from Gmail saying, uh, details on your new uh, PayPal credit uh, purchase. And I was like, what? What are they talking about? <laughs> so I go into my email and see that a bid on one of these pairs had got picked up. So I should be getting uh, s- some goods this it. week. Ooh. Right. So We got to post that on the IG Thanks. page. Yeah. Fire. The, the actual unboxing. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Um, yo, I just, Great conversation. I just yeah, some fun. Yeah. Uh to dive yeah. down a little bit. Um I definitely want to thank my brother Justin Blaze for coming out. Give him give me your social media so we can reach out to you on social yeah. media. So it's just underscore blaze underscore um on Instagram. It's just underscore blaze underscore on Twitter as well. Um hit me up. Yeah, we'll we'll post that too on the on the stories and yeah. all that too. We forgot to do that for Roya last week, yeah. but I did it in the, I made sure I made up for that, but right. you gotta make sure when people come visit, we'll do their social media tags and all yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, no, nah, this was, this was dope. Dope yeah. conversation. I think seven people joined in tonight. That <laughs> So Roya oh, says, she whopping. finished out with tech. This is Justin. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, I'm, 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 hopefully our numbers will grow weekly. You just gotta do better yeah. at, uh, Plugging in yeah. IG Live and all. It's our first time actually doing a whole show on IG Live. Yeah. And it comes out on Friday. Yep. So a lot of you got the early premiere of it. Yeah, uh, some pre- of it might be preview. cut out. Some of it might not be cut out. But we appreciate everybody. Again, that's We Are Something Else. W-E-R-S-U-M-T-H-I-N-E-L-S-E on all platforms. And now oh. Instagram. So if you... What up, Jay? Okay. <laughs> Somebody said, what up, Jay? Oh, what <laughs> I don't know. Who is, who is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see who this is. Okay, anyways. So uh Thank yeah. you everybody. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank everybody on all platforms, it. iTunes, yep. check iTunes us out. Now you can you can search us. We are something, something else. else. Alright y'all. Peace. Peace. Later.